It wasn't the bread, it was that hunk of cheese. Men who consume the most cheese have the lowest sperm counts and the worst mortality. And the reason, of course, is you're swallowing estrogen. Please just tell me what's happening to me in plain English with, without the mumbo jumbo. All of this don't eat this rhetoric is getting pretty old at this point. I think it's safe to say, even though we have stable isotope analysis of what humans have eaten since before we were human, there are some foods that will work with some people and some foods that will not work with others. Cheese is one of those foods. There's a lot of talk about how cheese and dairy in general is one of the worst foods for testosterone levels, but is it really? If you love cheese and are trying to figure out whether or not to keep it in your diet, or if you're wondering if cheese is lowering your testosterone levels, today's episode is for you. Low testosterone can be catastrophic, linked to high body weight, low energy levels, low libido, impotence, and lower bone mass. Low testosterone levels can also affect our mood and sleep quality. But do we really need to worry about cheese in terms of testosterone levels? Are there worse foods out there to worry about? And is there anything else in our environment that might be lowering our testosterone? Cheese has been eaten for millennia and dates back at least 7,000 years. The earliest evidence of cheese making is from about 5,500 BCE in what is now Poland. So if cheese has been lowering testosterone levels, it's been doing so for quite some time now. The thing is that studies about this are a mixed bag, with some showing cheese might have a testosterone lowering effect and others showing otherwise. Most studies also don't indicate what type of cheese is being consumed. Is it raw cheese like Parmigiano Reggiano, soft cheese like Brie, cheese products like American cheese or shredded cheese, which contains things like cellulose, which is sawdust, or other non-caking chemical additives? I can reduce your testosterone level within a matter of a couple of weeks just by putting you on a cheesy, meaty diet. But actually, the opposite association is shown in this study that states men adhering to low-fat diets had lower serum testosterone levels even when controlling for comorbidities, age, body mass index, and activity levels. Which basically indicates that men eating diets that are higher in fat have higher testosterone levels, and cheese is mostly fat and protein. The main problem is that a lot of these studies are based on surveys. This one even tells us that randomized controlled trials are needed to see if the correlation between cheese consumption and low testosterone is actually a thing. But let's assume that what the clip is saying is true. The clip is saying that the fat in the cheese and meat is making you fat, which is increasing your estrogen. He's also trying to say that the estrogens found in cheese add estrogen to your body. It is true that dairy contains estrogen, but how much does it have and should we be worried about it? This is an old study, but it states that the quantity of active estrogens in dairy products is too low to demonstrate biological activity. Honestly though, the more I dig, the more articles I find saying that there is no concrete evidence that dietary estrogen increases or decreases estrogen levels in the human body. But if you are worried about dietary estrogen or foods that might affect testosterone levels, there are common foods other than cheese that you'll want to consider. These foods include soy, grains, legumes, breads, pastries, desserts, and alcohol. Flaxseed, garlic, red wine, cruciferous vegetables, nuts, and peaches are also high in estrogen. You might find this interesting. A 2017 study showed that trans fats might lower testosterone and too many omega-6 fatty acids, like seed oils, appeared to reduce testicular size and function in young, healthy men. But again, the common theme in all of these articles and studies is that research into testosterone-lowering foods is limited, and also that there's no definitive proof that hormones found in meat, dairy, and honestly probably other foods, will lead to negative health effects. I will say that there seems to be an overwhelming emphasis on fat and calorie content of cheese without taking into account the beneficial nutrients in cheese, such as protein, vitamin K2, calcium, riboflavin, choline, and conjugated linoleic acid. It's as if the benefits of eating cheese are completely ignored. Is it good to eat pounds and pounds of cheese per day? Is it good to eat cheese if it gives you gas, constipation, or other problems? Probably not the best ideas. Is it worth including in your diet if you're feeling better eating it? Low testosterone levels are associated with the Western diet, but what else could be causing it? Could it be chronic exposure to endocrine disrupting chemicals like bisphenols, phthalates, forever chemicals, pesticides, or herbicides? Books like Dr. Shauna Swan's Countdown and the research of scientists like Dr. Tyrone B. Hayes seem to point in that direction. 
The baseline problem seems to be a culmination of not enough exercise, too much time indoors, poor diets that consist mainly of processed carbohydrates and processed fats, all wrapped up in a plastic film of endocrine disruptors. It seems like a fool's errand to try to isolate one cause of this growing problem and pinning the blame on a cheesy meaty diet seems like a step in the wrong direction. Especially when the diet he's talking about includes pizza, hamburgers, and foods that are more of meat wrapped in processed carbohydrates than whole nutrient dense foods. But what do you think? Is cheese lowering our testosterone levels? Or is the problem much deeper than some headline grabbing clickable statements? Do you include cheese in your diet or are you skipping it? Do you think it might also be a problem of what types of cheese people are including in their diets? Like if it's made out of goat milk or cow milk, if it's raw or pasteurized cheese, or if it's processed cheese product versus actual cheese? Let me know in the comments below. Hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.